which of the following are parametric equations for the entire line given by y equals x minus two, choose all that apply. Let's first graph y equals x minus two. This is a line with a vertical intercept of negative two and a slope of positive one. And I've already graphed that line here. Again, we have a vertical intercept of negative two and a slope of positive one. Parametric equations for graphs given by rectangular equations must satisfy the following requirements. The parametric equations must satisfy the rectangular equation. To check this, we'll make a substitution for x and y and see if the equation is true. And two, there must be an interval for t that produce all of the x and y values that are possible in the rectangular equation. Let's begin by listing the possible x and y values for y equals x minus two. Well, for any linear equation, the domain and range would be all real numbers. So let's go ahead and make a note of that. The domain would be the interval from negative infinity to positive infinity, and so would the range. Which means that the possible outputs for x and y of the parametric equations are not all real numbers, then even if they satisfy the equation y equals x minus two, they would not give the graph of the entire line. So first we have x equals t, y equals t minus two. Let's first perform a substitution into y equals x minus two. So if we know y equals x minus two, We'll substitute t for x and t minus two for y. That would give us t minus two equals t minus two, which is always true. If we subtract t on both sides, we'd have negative two equals negative two, verifying these parametric equations do satisfy the equation y equals x minus two. And also notice how both x of t and y of t are linear functions, and therefore their possible outputs or values would be all real numbers and therefore these equations would give us the graph of the entire line. Let's also check this graphically using the calculator. I've already set some of this up. If we press the mode key, we're already in parametric mode. If we press y equals, I've also already entered the parametric equations. Now if we press zoom six for the standard window, we're not gonna get the graph of the entire line. If we press the window key, notice how the interval for t is only going from zero to two pi, Let's change that to go from negative 20 to positive 20. Even though really the interval for t would have to be from negative infinity to positive infinity because we know the line goes on forever. Let's also square the window by pressing zoom five for z square. Notice how now the lines look exactly the same. Next we have x equals t minus two and y equals t. So performing substitution we would have t equals t minus two minus two. Well, this is never true. If we subtract t on both sides, we'd have zero equals negative four, which again is never true. So because the parametric equations don't satisfy y equals x minus two, they obviously would not give us the graph of the given line. Next we have x of t equals t minus two, y of t equals t minus four. Performing substitution, we would have t minus four equals t minus two minus two. So if we subtract t on both sides, we'd have negative four equals negative four, which is always true. So if the parametric equations do satisfy the equation. Notice both x of t and y of t are linear functions, and therefore the possible outputs would be all real numbers, which means these equations would give us the graph of the entire line. Going back to the calculator, Let's press y equals and go down to the second set of parametric equations, which will give us a red graph, and enter x of t equals t minus two, enter, and y of t equals t minus four. Now when checking these graphically, we do have to be careful. Just because the calculator doesn't give us the graph of the entire line over the screen, that may just be because we have to increase the interval for t. Let's go ahead and press graph. There's the original line and notice how we get the same line using these parametric equations. Next we have x equals t squared and y equals t squared minus two. Now here we're going to have a problem because both of these are quadratic functions. Notice x is never going to be negative because we're squaring t. So x is always going to be greater than or equal to zero. And because y equals t squared minus two, y is always going to be greater than or equal to negative two. Which means x and y are not gonna take on the values of all real numbers, and therefore, even if they satisfy the equation, they would not give us the graph of the entire line. 
let's go ahead and show the substitution. If x equals t squared and y equals t squared minus two, we'd have t squared minus two equals t squared minus two, which are always equal if we subtract t squared on both sides. This is always true, so they do satisfy the equation, but again, if we look at the graph, we're not gonna get the graph of the entire line. So we'll press y equals, clear the second set of parametric equations, x equals t squared, and y equals t squared minus two. We press graph, notice how the red line is only when x is greater than or equal to zero, and y is greater than or equal to negative two, this piece of the line. So we're not gonna check these parametric equations because we don't get a graph of the entire line. Next we have x equals t plus two, y equals t. So performing substitution, we would have t equals x is t plus two, and then minus two. So simplifying, we get t equals t, or if we subtract t on both sides, we get zero equals zero, which is always true. Again, both x of t and y of t are linear functions, so the set of all possible outputs will be all real numbers for both x and y, and therefore they would give us the graph of the entire line. We won't verify this one graphically. Next we have x equals cosine t, y equals cosine t minus two, and here we're gonna have a problem again because we know that the cosine only takes on the values of negative one to positive one, and therefore x and t are not gonna take on the values of all real numbers, so even if they do satisfy the equation, we won't get the graph of the entire line. Let's go ahead and show the substitution. So y equals cosine t minus two equals x equals cosine t, and we have minus two. Subtracting cosine t on both sides, we have negative two equals negative two, which is always true. So they do satisfy the equation, but they won't give us the graph of the entire line. Let's go ahead and clear the second set of parametric equations. And x equals cosine t, y equals cosine t minus two. If we press graph, we're only gonna get a small piece of the line, which we see right here. So we're not gonna check these parametric equations. Next we have x equals tangent t and y equals tangent t minus two. The output of the tangent function is from negative infinity to positive infinity. So x and y are gonna take on the values of all real numbers. So that part is good. Let's see if it satisfies the equation. So y equals tangent t minus two, x equals tangent t, then we have minus two. This is always gonna be true if we subtract tangent t on both sides. Negative two always equals negative two. So this is gonna give us the graph of the entire line. But again, let's check this on the calculator. So let's press y equals, clear out the second set of parametric equations again. Now we'll enter x equals tangent t, and y equals tangent t minus two. Graph. There's the original line, and here's the line by the parametric equations involving tangent. Notice how it's not showing this piece of the line here. That doesn't mean we're not gonna get the graph of the entire line. Remember here, t is an angle. Let's try increasing the interval for t. If we press window, let's change the t min and t max to go from negative 40 to positive 40. This is one thing we need to be careful about when verifying this graphically. Notice how now we do get a graph of more of the line. So if we let t be all real numbers, again, this would give us the graph of the entire line given by y equals x minus two. And then finally we have x equals t cubed, y equals t cubed minus two. This is a cubic function, so the outputs for x and y are going to be all real numbers. If we perform the substitution, y equals t cubed minus two, x equals t cubed, we still have minus two. Notice how we subtract t cubed on both sides. This is always true. So these will graph the entire line. Verifying this on the calculator, clear the second set of equations, and we have t cubed, 
enter, and t cubed minus two. So right arrow and then minus two. Graph. Here's the original line, and here's the line given by the new parametric equations. Notice how they match. I hope you found this helpful.